So now in this video, we're going to use the LM358 again, a comparator circuit. We're just making some simple modifications, and we're going to make it respond to light level again. Last video though, the light dependent resistor was on the positive side. This time, it's on the negative side. By the way, when you see uh, wires connect like this, but one's curved, that means it's jumping over that wire. They're not uh, connected. A lot of people put dots wherever there's connections. I don't uh, usually do that. Uh, they have a dot there, and a dot there, and a dot there, and then this jump. I just do the uh, jump. It means it's jumping over. But in case, we set half of the supply voltage to the inverting input. We have the non-inverting input here. So, I want this buzzer to go off. This is an active buzzer when the output goes high. And so, to do that, we need very high resistance on the uh, negative side right there. So, that means it'll be dark will have an easier path up here resistance wise it'll pull the voltage up above half of the supply voltage if it is dark enough if it's bright enough it'll stay below half of the supply voltage which is what we set there so we get it dark what that does is before we get it dark if it's bright enough the output is uh, low and because uh, we have an easy connection to ground it's a comparator non-inverting and so the output is also low you can see we have a path here. So I'm actually going to use a green LED to maybe say that uh, we're good at light level or whatnot. Now if it gets dark enough, we have an easier path to positive. The output goes high. So it doesn't connect all the way to 5. It falls a bit short, about a volt and a half probably. And uh, in any case, we uh, will use a transistor in that case. So you can see we have a current path there, although it's not quite 5 volts, but uh, close enough. Small amount of current. Turns the transistor on, we covered that recently, and current will go through the active buzzer. It starts buzzing. Passive buzzers need a pulse given to them to buzz. The active buzzer buzzes on its own. So ultimately what we have here is a circuit where if it gets dark enough, the buzzer goes into alarm basically, turns on and buzzes. And so here is the uh, circuit. We have the LM358 here. It's a dual op amp. There's uh, one on the left side, one on the right side. We have to power it. Positive supply, VCC, to pin 8. And then ground, our zero volt reference point to pin 4. It could also be a negative voltage in relationship to 4 if we really wanted to use it. So we got output, inverting input, non-inverting input, light dependent resistor to the uh, negative side of the non-inverting input. Or, yeah, the non inverting input and then a 10 kilo ohm resistor right there. That's the voltage that changes. And we have at the inverting input 10 kilo ohm to negative rail, 10 kilo ohm to positive rail right there. So that'll give us 2.5 volts out of 5. Green LED has a 1 kilo ohm resistor because it gets pretty bright. And uh, positive supply to the long lead up there, anode, short lead the cathode to the resistor. So that'll light up when the output's low. We have here a 10 kilo ohm resistor coming to the middle pin of the transistor. So this is a 2N3904, an NPN type bipolar junction transistor. You can see flat side is to the right. I always check the data sheet for the layout, but uh, pin layout, but I already know the bottom one here, when the right flat side is to the right, is the emitter. Middle pin is the base, and the collector is on top. So to wire it as a switch, we're going to put the buzzer on the collector side. There is a little plus there, and I find the active buzzers have this epoxy filled in, whereas the passive ones do not for some reason. But in any case, we got the uh, plus. That's the only way I can tell once you pull a sticker off. I think the sticker is on the active ones. Right there, we'll uh, insert the negative side there to where the collector is right there there you go you can see that so there we have it right there and uh, fits pretty well in fact let's move that over one more there we go plugged into the collector so we will pull back I'll pop up this light dependent resistor we'll come to the oscilloscope in a little bit first we'll do our test right here so we have five volts at the supply and I'm going to turn it on you can see we have the green LED on now this buzzer gets really loud so I'm gonna try not to block the light at all but I'll put my thumb over there hopefully it's not uh, too loud hopefully it is bearable but there you can see when we get dark enough it goes out also a thing to note is how much current 
it's about 22 milliamps approximately of current which uh, I think might be a bit high for the output of this uh, particular op amp and uh, so we have the transistor there to switch it instead and so now we're ready with the oscilloscope cable comes there to these alligator clips I turn the uh, power off so we avoid uh, beeping that loud beep when I cover the light dependent resistor the uh, black alligator clip that I clip to the jumper is going to go to the uh, negative supply first let's take a look at our inverting input right there so right below the output that's where our fixed value resistors are and uh, just in case it happens to buzz I do have the light up uh, quite a bit so I don't think we'll have that problem but there you can see green light is uh, lit and we have half of the supply voltage right there so now what we're going to do I'm going to turn the power off so I don't uh, make it buzz well I move this jumper by accidentally shading it and now I'm going to turn the uh, power back on and there you can see the voltage is lower than the uh, two and a half volts that we set and I'll uh, zoom back a little bit but we'll see here that when I make it darker the uh, buzzer goes right there and so let's turn the uh, lamp down you can see at uh, this setting there we go we're still about two this is the lamps lowest setting at uh, this light level right there I turned it to uh, to sleep where it's not as bright you can see the voltage went up to about three volts and it caused it to buzz right there so that is the main takeaway and before it buzzes again I'm going to uh, turn the uh, power off so again depending on what we want we can adjust that resistor value to adjust the sensitivity or whatever if we want to stick with 2.5 volts we could go with different voltage than 2.5 and whatnot or we could put the light dependent resistor on the more positive side if we want to go in that direction too to adjust what uh, the voltages are doing but uh, really that's uh, better to experiment with than throw into one video so I'm going to end this video here make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can that helps the most uh, but just watching as many videos as you can is a big help too I got links down in the description for all those options so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video.